Hey guys, I'm BTC. This is the Minecraft server. I did quite a bit of exploring the other day. And I found some massive, massive cave systems. I haven't fully explored them yet. I explored most of the normal caves, but I also found some mine shafts and stuff. So maybe I'll go over there at some point and check that out. But I found two other cool things. I found a surface spawner. Yes, another one. There's one right there that's the spider spawner and then there's another one that's over there i'll show you that in a second and i also found a double zombie spawner so i think i'm gonna turn that into my xp farm now i know a bunch of people some some of the haters they keep going oh btc you don't actually do anything dangerous you just sit in the base and and branch miner blah 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 blah, blah. which isn't isn't true uh, if you look at my armor, I've taken quite a bit of damage. I gotta, I gotta repair that stuff. Oh, that's why I have that out. Um, you know what? I want to repair it right now. That would probably be a good idea. Let me see. Can I... Ooh, 26 levels? Good. Holy moly, that's a lot. 30 levels?! Jeez! And it doesn't even... 26 levels. Oh, that's because it's got thorns on it. That's why it's so much. Derp. Let's see this. This, yeah, that's, 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 that's a little bit better. You know what, though? I really need to get some... I'm gonna repair this just the once. Mm, what is that now? Yeah, I'm gonna repair it. Bam! Oh, and there goes the, uh, there goes the anvil. That scares the crap out of me every time that happens. All right. So, I thought if you, uh, okay, there you go. I was like, I thought if you right-clicked it, it's supposed to move it over, and it does, apparently, but anyway, so I've got a decent amount of diamonds now. I'm up to 42, universal, uh, the, or the answer to the universe. A little bit of gold, um, some iron, and uh, some more iron. I also somehow found some emeralds. Um, move, move. And I increased the size of the beacon pyramid thing. I think it's at level two now? Two or three? I don't know. It goes up to resistance. So that's, I think, two. Anyways, I was looking at it, and in order to get the secondary you know haste too i would have to build out the entire thing and although it's really cool i mean like you chew through you chew through stone as fast as netherrack it's it's crazy you go really really oh thank you it stopped raining fantastic you go incredibly fast it's pretty awesome but i don't know if it's really worth it i mean the thing I kind of want more than anything is the whole distance so that I don't have to keep picking it up and moving it. But uh, I've cleared out most of that land over there. I'll show you that in a minute. So anyways, I was over here just kind of looking around this and, and what have you. And I saw this sinkhole. And I was like, oh, what's that? i already been down there. And I was like, oh, what's this? I'm like, oh, surface spawner. Sweet. So I figured I would not touch it until oh man i can't get 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 in there i figured i wouldn't touch it until until can i get air there oh i can fantastic i wouldn't touch it until i could show you guys what it was let's not take let's not take the drowning damage please i don't know if i'm gonna have enough blocks i should I don't even know what this is. Thankfully, they can't spawn in water. Well, like under the water. Under the sea. Da, 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 da. I can't sing it. If you know it, you can sing it. I can't. I can eat steak underground. Where am I? Oh, here we are. Okay. So, there we go. And let's quickly light this place up. Yep, apparently it's a zombie spawner. 
There we go. All right. There he is, zombie. So this is cool. I mean, this is wow. You, oh man, how fast this! I I I love this. This shovel. I never really used an, a high level efficiency shovel um, before, and it just it kind of kind of amazes me how fast the thing goes. So there's two chests. I can tell because they're the the two things there. So we're gonna. Oh, there wasn't a chest. Oh, I got robbed. Sneaky, sneaky. Made me think that there was two chests there. Oh, well. Now, Paws said he needed sand. I don't know what he needs sand for. Probably for glass. But All right, well, let's see what's in it. We've got some bread, which I don't care about. Three cats. <laughs> meow, meow, meow. And then a saddle and some iron. Let's see what is over here I haven't actually 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 been over here yet um, okay well I got a little oh uh oh uh oh uh oh ah uh, darn it well Whatever. Let's put something here to signify it. And come on. I, I'll just have to go back to the to the spawn town. It's no big deal. I don't really need to use my potions anymore until I am in serious trouble. And, you know, I was thinking, I don't really want to use... I don't want to dig up all this clay here. Um, I don't... I don't know if... You know, that's a good question. Do clay blocks give you the same every single time you dig them up? I don't think they do. And I think you're better off using a silk touch to pick them up. Uh, I want a lot of um, hardened clay. The, the, uh, the poop blocks. And then I'm gonna call them different, um, different colors and what have you. And then I'm gonna use them to build stuff. I don't really know what I'm gonna use them to build with though. Um, Winterfell. What I plan on building is kind of. Um, it's not really not really appropriate for like. Um, what do you call it? Uh, blah 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 blah. The adobe bricks. They're not really... Eh, they don't really match. They don't really line up. So. With, um... Oh, the horses are still alive, I think. Yep, they're good. Oh, I saw another one around here somewhere as well. I should probably grab that one. It was like a polka-dotted one. Where did I see that? Oh, I, that's right. I saw that more towards Spawn Town. Probably grab a saddle and try to bring them back here. I want to have a bunch of different horses. I'm not going to use them, but I want them for the stables in Winterfell. So it would be good to be good to have that. Ah, you jerk! So over here, this is where the double spawners are. Now I did not dig this dig this tunnel down. Uh, this is a tunnel I dug up. I gotta repair all my stuff. Man, look at, look at, like, arrow in the head. All my stuff is so damaged right now. And it's, it's all really good stuff, and it's just, it's all, all definitely been used, busted up. So, here we are. Here's the double spawners, and I, uh, there was a bunch of gold right here too, which was cool. Um, even though I don't really need it. So I haven't gotten the items out of these chests yet. So there's a name tag, and we got another saddle, yay. Another bucket, another cat, meow. Oh man, so many, I don't really, 
I don't really need it. What's that? Gravel? Uh, I don't want that. And I don't want that. Um, what do we have in here? We've got a saddle and gold horse armor. I think there was some other stuff in here, like iron or what have you, that I already took. But So this is pretty cool. Uh, zombies are not the best that... Uh, zombies are not the best for XP farms. Especially since they can spawn with... Um, uh, Especially since they can spawn with Thorns armor, and it can be annoying on UHC mode. And on top of that, they can also spawn up uh, more zombies in the surrounding area. It can be it can be kind of a pain. And I think well, with the diminishing returns on XP from spawners, they're not they're not that great. But the thing is, is because there's two of them right next to each other, I should be able to get more XP then over at like the skeleton farm plus this is really close to my base so i'm gonna log out real fast i'll be right back all right so i'm going to build these into a a mob trap i think that's going to be my next project for right now and then i'm going to go and clear the rest of the area for winterfell and what have you uh, reason being is because my stuff is so damaged that I am not going to be able to clear out the rest of the area that I need to. And I really do need some sort of good XP farm. Uh, the end XP farm is not even close. Um, there really isn't a good one in the nether either with like blazes and what have you. So... This is pretty much it. And, it, you know, it's right next to my base, so that's, that's pretty cool. I think what I'm going to end up doing is I might end up making... Uh, what do you call it? I might end up making a tunnel to my base from here. I don't know. It's not that far. It's like, what, um, 200 blocks? That's nothing. Really? So, no, not even... No, oh, it's 300. My bad. So anyways, this is the the cave that I actually... No, is this one that came up? I can't remember. Where did I come up from? That's somewhere. Did I come over from here? can't remember. Let me block that off a little bit. Yeah, I think... No, no, I didn't come from here. Where the heck did I come from? Cotton. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cotton Eye Joe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, I think I came from somewhere over here. I don't even remember. Um, no, not there. What the heck? There's a there's a wall, I think, down here. I came from somewhere around here. I must have blocked it off eventually, but uh, there's also lots more stuff this way. No, I didn't come from... I don't know. Where, where in the Sam hell did I come from? I, oh, down here. That's where I came from, right here. Derp. I was wondering. Um, I blocked it off. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. There we go. That's where I came from. Okay. So this this leads to a massive, massive cave system that I had dug into. And I heard, like, tons of zombies. And I was like, oh, what's up there? And then it was, like, a zombie spawner. And then I was like, ooh, oh wait, there's more cobble. I'm like, oh, secondary zombie spawner. Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, if you don't live in New England, you probably don't get that reference. But I was also trying to get a lot of... The reason why I went into the cave system and stuff is because I wanted iron. Um, for the... What do you call it? For the beacon. I think there's a ravine system somewhere. Oh. There's a ravine system somewhere around here as well. Hang on. Let me make some more torches. Ah, crap. I put all my coal in the furnaces. All right, well. Hello? Hello? Mrs. Crabtree? I'd like to go home now. Let's 
getting dark in here. I'm scared. Hello? Oh, I didn't even see that one up there. Hello? I don't know where it is. There is a giant ravine somewhere around here. Oh, you know what? I, I know where it is. I know where it is. It is not through there. I'm just going to grab some iron real fast. Burp. Okay. There we go. That's good. All right. Uh, I don't think there's anything up there. So I'm going to wall that off because that's got lots of darkness and scary things. The giant ravine was down here. It's pretty it's pretty close by. It was really dangerous though. So All right. Anyways, let's get rid of these. So this is the one I found, and then there was like more cobble right here, and I'm like, hmm, there's more cobble here. Another spawner. Yay. Oh, that is not a torch. That is definitely not a torch. This is a torch. Let's put that there. And there is coal, like, right near me, that I could have been digging to make more, more torches. But I didn't, because I was a derp. There we go. There we go. Look at that. 30, wow, 33 coal. Bam. All right. So we got uh, we got the double spawners right here. I wish they were on the same level. Get on my level. One off. Yeah, that's all right. Whatever. So I am going to build this thingamabobber. I'm gonna repair my tools and stuff, which is gonna require me basically sitting in front of the spawner for hours on end. Waiting for zombies to drop. And then I get to repair all my stuff. So, Oh, the other thing is, is I really want to put uh, Unbreaking 3 on these. So, And I need Feather Falling. But anyways, alright, I am going to end this one here. Thank you for watching. Remember, always, always blame the controller. Because it's never your fault.